Hey everybody, this is Zach Rosette with BuildBox. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how do we take the games that we create with BuildBox and test them out on our phone. So I wanted to make a video today to show you how to do that. This video is all about taking the games that you create with BuildBox and testing them out on iPhone. If you have an Android, that's great. I'm going to do another video later to show you how to do that. So if you have an Android phone, keep an eye out for that video. If you have an iPhone, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up our web browser, either let it be Google Chrome or Safari or whatever web browser that you're using. And you're going to want to put in www.gmail.com and it'll direct you to the create an account page. Okay, and so this should take you to the Gmail create an account page. So over here on the left, you're going to want to click create an account just to get us started. All right, and then Google's going to ask you some for some information to set up your Gmail account. So I'm going to go ahead and just use an example here and put in Game Dev as my first and last name, and then I'm going to put Game Dev. Let's do um, seven eight five six. Let's see if that's taken. It might be taken. Oh, it's not. Okay, cool. So we're going to use that as our username. All right, and then go ahead and put in a password. Make sure that the password's long and follows all the rules so that you don't have to do this again and that, so that nobody can guess your password. So it's safe. And then you're going to want to put in a birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and skip the mobile phone and the current email address step. I'm going to move on to the next step. It's going to pop up the terms of service. You just scroll down to the bottom after you're done reading all of it and click agree. I agree. And then it's going to ask you to verify your account. Okay, so I'm going to use a voice call for this one. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and skip putting in the phone number here. And I'm going to ask you to hold while I put in this number for it. So just one second. So I should be getting a phone call right now. And I am. Perfect. This is going to give me my verification number thank you for using google phone verification remember you should not share this code with anyone else and no one from google will ever ask for this code your code is nine eight zero seven eight three again your code is nine eight zero seven I love that. I love the goodbye at the end. Okay, so you just punch in that code and you should be good to go. All right, awesome. So now your Gmail account has been verified and you just want to click continue on to Gmail. Give it a few seconds, it's going to send you to your Gmail inbox. And then once you're there, you're done with that. You're going to just, I'm going to have you click exit out of the um, little intro thing that pops up to welcome you to Gmail. Okay, so we're gonna exit out of this, and then once you're here and you're looking at your inbox and you're looking at this intro email from Andy from Google, you're good to go. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is I want you to exit out of this tab over here on the left. We're done with it, so we're gonna just go ahead and stop there. Okay, so we've set up the Gmail account. Next, we wanna set up the Apple developer account. So you're gonna want to open up a new tab, okay, and you're gonna want to go to this website address okay it's developer.apple.com okay so we're gonna go ahead and put in developer.apple.com all right it's already doing it for me okay cool so this is gonna take you to the Apple developer page and you're gonna wanna click account over here on the top right okay so once you click on account it's going to take you to the Apple developer page and then you're going to if you already have an Apple ID and you can go ahead and just sign in but for those of you who do not you're going to want to click create Apple ID okay and this is where you're going to use that Gmail account that we just created okay so over here we're going to go ahead and put in our name and all the information that it's asking for us and make sure that your birthday shows that you are at least 13 years or older. So to have a Apple developer account, you must be 13 years of age or older. So if you're not 13, make sure you have a parent come and help you out with this step and to help you get set up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the Gmail account, the Gmail that 
I created just a little while ago, 7856, I think it was. Cool. And then I'm going to type in a password and make sure that it's long and confusing <laughs> and follows all the rules. Okay, so that we don't have to do this again. Okay, next you're going to create a couple security questions. What was the name of your first pet? Name of my first pet was Sarah. She's a good dog. What's your dream job? Game dev, obviously. And where did your parents meet? I think they met in Modesto, I'm pretty sure. A couple friends introduced them. Okay, and then the last thing you want to do is type in whatever crazy numbers and letters they have for you over here to make sure that you're not inebriated. All right, so you go ahead and enter that in. Sometimes it's confusing, sometimes it's easy. Okay, so once you get here, you should be good. All right, now we're going to go to that Gmail account that we created. We're going to go to our inbox. We should have an email from Apple, and it's telling us to verify the account. So we're going to go back over here to Gmail. We're going to click on the we're going to click on the email that Apple sent us. All right, and there's our code. 512137. Easy peasy. 512137. Let me just make sure that that's right. 512137. There it is. Okay, cool. So you enter in your code. All right? And you should be good to go. Now, if this happens, all right, if it says, oh, you didn't create, uh, complete your application because there was some information not supplied, that's totally fine. Okay, I have a way to fix this. All right, so you just go back to developer.apple.com. Okay, click on account again. Just repeat the steps. And then what do you know? Here's the Apple development agreement uh, or Apple developer agreement that it did not prompt us to agree to last time, but it is now. So you just wanna check that box, okay, after you tediously go through and, and make sure you read all of this. So you're gonna to wanna to go through and check all that out before you uh, click Submit. Once you've read it all though and you've checked that box, go ahead and click Submit. And booyah, all right, now you've got a Apple developer account created. So we're almost there, okay? We've got two steps out of the way, two big steps out of the way, and we're at the home stretch now. Okay, so the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna open up BuildBox, okay? And you're gonna wanna click on whatever game that you have. It'll be over here probably. Um, if you don't, if you're just trying out a new game, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna give you an example right now. Uh, I'm gonna call this game example. I'm pretty fond of the Jetpack preset so I'm gonna go with jetpack and click create okay so a new game is being created and voila there we go so the game's created I'm gonna go ahead and hit command s all right uh, for Macs and Apple products you hit command s to save I'm gonna save it in the downloads folder just for funsies and I'm gonna name an example okay cool so now that you've got your game saved somewhere, now we can go ahead and export it, okay? So let's go ahead and look at top left over here. All right, to export your game, you go to File, and then you hover over Export, and then a win this window will pop up, this uh, drop-down window here, and we're gonna click iOS, okay? iOS is for iPhones. So we're gonna click iOS and it's, at, it's saying no bundle, no bundle ID specified, okay? And that's no problem, all right? When you submit your games to the Apple Store or to the Play Store, you are going to want to have your bundle ID specified and you're gonna to wanna to have that dialed in. But for just testing out your games, it's not a necessity, okay? We can go ahead and just click continue. Okay, now it's gonna ask me, well, where do you wanna save this iOS version of this game? And I'm gonna go ahead and just save it to the desktop so it's real convenient. I can just go over here and click over it to it and drag it in so you can see it. So give it a second for it to generate the folder. All right, and then you're gonna to want to click on that folder once it's done, okay? So I'm clicking on the folder. There it is, there's my iOS game. It's in the example folder that I created. 
click on iOS and then click on ptplayer.xcodeproj. Okay, that's short for Xcode project. Okay, you want to double click that and this is going to open up Xcode. Okay, and for those of you, let's see here, I don't know what just happened. It went real big on me for some reason. Okay, I'm going to shrink this back down so that we're back on. Okay, so this is Xcode, all right, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it. And if you don't have Xcode already, that's fine. You're going to want to go to the Apple Store, okay? So you're going to want to click um, on the App Store for if you have a Mac or an iMac or something like that or a MacBook Pro. Okay, you want to click on the Apple Store or the App Store, and then you're going to want to enter in Xcode in the upper right hand corner and just search Xcode and then go ahead and download it. And it's right there, top left. Just download Xcode. It takes a while, so be patient. Don't go clicking a bunch of stuff, you know, and be impatient. Just uh, wait for Xcode to download and then you can open up your your project, your iOS project. Okay, so back to Xcode. All right, the next thing that you're going to want to do is over here on the top left, you want to click on PT Player. Okay, this is going to open up a menu here in the middle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know what, it actually, I, I double clicked it. So it, uh, it kind of uh, did it for me. Okay, so you're going to want to just click on Xcode and then and then this menu is going to open up here in the middle all right so over here in this section it might say that you do not have a developer team yet or that you need to set up a developer team or might ask you to choose a team okay so this is where you want to put in your apple developer account okay for us for me um, i'm going to just click add account add an account and then this is where we put in our Apple ID our game developer ID that we just created so I did game dev seven eight five six I believe at gmail.com I'm gonna put in my password that I just created and sign in okay should take a second and then good to go all right should have that game developer account already created and then now let's see here I can just click game dev alright and that's my personal team okay so now you've got your team picked out alright and let's see here there it is that's I was gonna say where's the game dev 7856 that's the one we want to use okay so click on game dev um, or whatever user ID or Apple ID that you chose or you created. All right, and now it's gonna you know, say a little bit of a problem. It's gonna say, oh, the game name that you chose is not unique and it cannot be registered to your development team. This is a super easy fix, okay? Over here, you just type in a couple different numbers, maybe four, or five, eight, nine, something like that, and then click try again, okay? Give it a second, all right? It's gonna take a second, all right? and it'll it'll fix it right now it's kind of uh bouncing around and tweaking out but just keep waiting because it's still creating the provisional profile and then now it says there are no devices registered in your account on the developer website plug in and select a device to have xcode register it okay this is also super easy this is where you plug in your phone and you trust and you, and you set up your phone with your developer account, okay? And this is gonna be the phone that you wanna test your game out on, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the desktop and camera so you can see this, okay? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just plug in your phone, all right, until it responds, and then click on try again, okay? And you know what? Let me go ahead and scroll up here to the top so I can click on Zach, my phone. Okay, perfect. So just in case you did not see that, I'm gonna just show you this real quick again. Okay. You click over here and you yours might be on uh, iPhone 7 Plus or, some, or one of these, okay? It might be on one of these. 
So if it is, you just click on it, scroll to the top, and click on your phone, your device. It should be showing up once you've got it plugged in. Okay, great. So now that should get rid of this problem over here. No more red, and that's good. Okay, we've got our team, our game dev team. We've got 7856. It's all good to go, and we're not having any problems. Okay, so the next thing, and this is the final thing, we're going to click on, we're gonna click on, and I'm gonna show you this, I'm gonna zoom in over here so you can see this. We're gonna click on play, okay? Now what this does is it goes, it, it goes ahead and it starts running the app on your phone, all right? It's going to ask you to allow access, all right? And it also might say that you need to trust you need to go into the settings and trust this developer before you're allowed to test out the app on the phone. And see, yep, there it is, okay? It's saying you have to verify the app certificate for the account uh, so that it's trusted on the device. Now, um, you're gonna open settings and then general device management and then select your developer app certificate to trust it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you real quick how to do that. Okay, so here's how you do that. First, it tells you to go to settings then go to general, then scroll down and click on device management, then click on your developer team, and then it's going to ask you to trust it, and one more time, trust it one more time, and then you're good to go. So now I'm gonna click on Xcode, and then run it again. Now that we've verified it and we've trusted it, um, we should be we should be good to go. So it's going to run the game, and what do you know? You can see that it's opening it up right here, and the game is loaded up onto the phone. You can go ahead and start testing it, and it's awesome. Okay, I'll show you a little bit a uh, little bit better here. So let's see. You can see the game is totally testable on the phone. It's good to go. So you're pretty much done. At this point though, you're gonna want to click stop. Now now that the, the app is on your phone and you're good to go, you're gonna wanna click stop and that'll stop the code from running on, on the phone, but you're still fine, okay? You should have the developer app right here, okay? Here's a perfect example. There is the app that I just created. I'm able to still fire it up and I can unplug my phone and test out my game on my phone and it's awesome. I can show my friends like, hey, look at this cool game I just made and show it off to your family and your friends and play it out and test it out. And it's really, really good to do this as a developer to test your games out on phones and tablets and see what they look like, see how the playability is and yeah, go from there. Okay, so that's it. That's it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll go ahead and try to improve the video and answer any questions I can. In the next video, I'll show you how to put games onto Android phones, okay? For this one, it was just iPhone. So look out, if you have an Android, look out for the other video so that you can learn how to put it on Android phones. Okay, all right, everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good one.